Uh, welcome or welcome back to TinyHub or C-Square. In this example, we're going to talk about what is called exponential decay. And you see the formula down here. Uh, why decay? Because you have a car, and uh, which in 1995, the value was 26,000. In 2002, the value was 13,000. And we're going to find out the annual rate of change between 1995 and 2002. So for that reason, first of all, I'm going to need to find out how many years are between 2002 and 1995? And that is a simple subtraction. We have seven years. Now, the formula you see down there, I'm going to adjust it a little bit based on this situation. We have A equals A sub 0, B to the T, which T stands for A. Now, what is that A? Is the value in 2002, which was 13,000. A sub 0 is the initial value of the car, 26,000. And then we have this B we need to find out, and T is 7. So what should we do here to find B? First of all, we want to solve for B to the 7 power. So that's the reason I'm going to divide by 26,000. Okay, divide by 26,000 on the other side. And what do we have here? This 3, 0 can be canceled out. 13 over 26, that is simply 0.5 or 1 half equals B to the 7. So how do we find B here? We need to take what is called 7 root to cancel the power of 7. Or simply on your calculator, if you, um, the easiest way in my opinion is to do 0.5 to the power of 1 over 7. I end up with this 0 0.090. 572, I copy the first two decimal, the first uh, five decimal, I'm sorry. And this is this B we gonna need. But we need the annual rate of change, and it depends how you think about that one. Um, we can say B is either 1 minus R or 1 plus R. Let's say we do the last one. 1 plus R. Uh, so we have here 0 0.90572 equals 1 plus R. So we're going to have to subtract 1. And we end up with R equal. A negative yeah, we should expect a negative because is depreciation 0 0.09427. Uh, like I said, I'm going to copy the first to the small. This is a good answer. The negative means it goes down, right? The depreciation. Now, the percentage will be moved the decimal two units to the right. Uh, to the right. So we're going to have 9.43. Percent, which is another way to see this R. Now, let's go to, to part B. And on part B, we need to find the value of the car in 2006, assuming the value continues to drop by the same percentage. So we have, first of all, 2006 minus 1995. That means 11, 11 years of depreciation. And now we're going to plug it in the formula we had. A equal this one. Um, A sub 0 is that 26,000 times. Now, remember, we have the B. We did it. Hopefully, you still have it in the calculator. I do have it. to the 11th power, okay? So I'm going to raise to the 11th power and then times by 26,000. And I end up with this answer. A equals $8,748.35. And 35 cents. That would be the exact value C how you need to round it if that is the case in your problem. But this is the exact value of the car after 11 years if it keeps depreciating by 9.43% every year. 
If you enjoy this uh, uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.